A quick disclaimer before I go into the tutorial. I do not uh, advocate uh, those uh, magazines that uh, uh, are obsessed with the shape of uh, women, but one of the tricks that they use um, in Photoshop is called Liquify, and I'm going to show how it's done and how to uh, make it efficiently. I will go into Filter and I will find uh, Liquify. Uh, many might have used Liquify before, so this tutorial is not uh, really basic, it's a little bit more advanced. Just to explain quickly what's happening with the Forward uh, Work tool, which is the top one there. Um, if I want to flatten the stomach, for example, and I zoom in with Command Plus and pan the picture using Spacebar, uh, you notice that if I use a small brush, for example, uh, 150, uh, the stomach will be flattened a bit at a time and it doesn't look uh, good at all. And uh, if I use uh, uh, a larger brush, like for example 600 pixels in this case, um, when I flatten the stomach the result is more uniform, uh, but you see that I'm distorting also the arm and uh, it's not exactly what I want to achieve either. So the trick is uh, here by clicking this advanced mode uh, within this uh, window, uh, you can uh, see more details now, more options, including this one, which I find quite useful. It's called Show Mesh, which allows me to see uh, every area of the pictures that get gets distorted. And also another trick is that when whenever I edit uh, a mask over a, a body, I try not to use red because it's too close to the color of the skin, so I go with something very contrasting, like for example green. Now I'm going to have a green mask and uh, the mesh is visible. You notice also that when I click Advanced Mode on the left hand side, we have a new set of tools. You see that one of them is called Freeze Mask Tool. With the Freeze Mask Tool now and a small brush, I'm allowed to paint over the area that I do not want to change while transforming with Liquify. And you see I'm going to uh, mask the entire area of the arm, even uh, I can exceed it and uh, make it uh, a little bit larger than what I actually need, just to uh, play safe as a precaution. I don't want any other pixel to be distorted. And then I can uh, go back to the forward warp tool, the first one on the top. And from there I go back to my 600 pixels uh, brush. And now I can uh, paint safely over the stomach and you see that the arm uh, does not get changed. I press OK and here's the final result. Before, after, before, after.